It's a battle between Beauty and the Beast. So Beautiful Joe versus Blackstar's hair? Uh, no. It's Vega versus Baraka. Oh, well that's disappointing. I'm Proto Dude. Uh, I'm Red Wolf. And it's our job to examine both warriors' strengths, abilities, weapons, and weaknesses to see who would win in a fight. Vega is a Spanish fighter known as the Spanish Ninja. He uses a combination of Japanese ninjutsu, French savate, Spanish bullfighting, and American zabota. And he's good at confusing his enemies with a variety of moves that are quite the mouthful. They actually aren't that hard to say. And he's got Wolverine-like claws on his gauntlets. This makes him one of the few Street Fighter characters to always carry around a weapon, though it is kind of easy to knock out of his hand. Not to mention the fact that he has a mask to protect his face, so not to scar his unmeasurable beauty. It also turns on all his feminine opponents. Uh, sure. Speaking of beauty, Vega's main berserk button is having to face ugly people. He cannot stand them, so when he sees one, he becomes extremely merciless. Fashionable murder? That's my dream come true! Vega is a fragile speedster with plenty of strength to spare, but one thing he's lacking is a good defense. Despite this, it's no secret that Baraka is one ugly fill. So if there's anybody Vega would be vicious against, it's Baraka. Baraka is an unforgiving Turkatan from Outworld in the service of Shao Kahn, with a cruel and unpredictable fighting style. While he is trained in the styles of Sile and Hungar, he prefers to use his blades over his hands. Baraka is so cruel that he was originally given a fatality where he sliced his opponent's stomach open and then let their entrails spill to the ground. But then that was considered too gory for Mortal Kombat. For Mortal Kombat. He has far greater strength and agility than your average human, not to mention a strong sense of smell. Baraka also has plenty of special moves to choose from, like the Blade Spark which shoots a projectile from his blades. Or the Blade Spin where he spins in place with his blades out. Or the Chop Chop, which is a very brutal attack where he repeatedly slashes the opponent in place. The problem with his moves, however, is that they take up too much mana. Wait, what? This isn't an RPG, Red Wolf. But you take the role of the fighters. Anyways, the main problem with these attacks is that for each of them, he stays in place while they are being used. Therefore, if he doesn't get a hit with them, it could give his opponent the opening that's needed. Finish him. It looks like Baraka gets the home territory advantage here. Test fight.
friendship. In this battle of Mortal Kombat vs. Street Fighter, Street Fighter got the points. And so did Baraka. Vega was full of wrath the entire fight, and because of this he went through it trying to torture Baraka as much as possible before killing him. This almost cost him the fight while we're at it. After clawing Baraka's eyeballs out, Vega thought he could just sneak up on the Turkotin, but his keen senses wouldn't allow that to happen. With an unpredictable flash attack, he managed to catch Vega off guard and knock him back. If he still had his vision, he might have been able to hit a vital area and win the match, but because he was in such a panic, he didn't manage to hit a very good spot. Realizing that Baraka was too dangerous to continue toying around with, Vega decided to end it then and there. This battle was just cut out for Vega. And so the victory goes to him. Hey there, we would like to thank A Short Fuse to Insanity for the awesome remix used in this fight. Specifically, this member. Check him out, thanks. Friendship. Fatality! <laughs>